Welcome back to my video. And this time, we'll be talking about coloring backgrounds for Webtoons. Nowadays, Webtoons have evolved significantly, with 3D assets being frequently used as backgrounds, including in some of the Webtoons I work on. This time, I'll only explain how I color them and create different ambiences, such as morning, afternoon, and nighttime. I won't start by explaining how I design and export my 3D backgrounds because that would take too long. The first step you need to take is to import the rendered image from your SketchUp project. Here, all you need to do is touch it up so that the SketchUp render blends better with your webtoon. Before moving on to the coloring stage, we'll prepare some materials you'll need. Here's a list of materials I use. You can search for them in the Clip Studio Asset Library, download these assets, and use them. I'll show you an example. Download the material you want and wait for the download process to complete. Once the download is finished, open the asset you just downloaded and drag it into your brush collection. For gradient assets, you can also follow the same steps. However, some assets use gradient sets so you'll need to add them through the gradient map or duplicate another gradient asset and replace its colors with the newly downloaded gradient. Once all the assets are ready, we'll start transforming this into a morning atmosphere. We'll start by drawing the sky. Here, I'm using a gradient tool called Midday. Drag it across the canvas to create the gradient. Once it looks good, We'll move on to adding clouds to the sky. Use the cloud material asset you downloaded earlier. I'm using a combination of white and bluish gray colors for the clouds. Since the brush is already shaped like clouds, you don't need to worry about creating cloud shapes manually. Just click. Add some variations to the clouds in your sky to make the result look less monotonous. I also added some small birds to enhance the details in the sky. You can use the brushes I listed earlier to draw birds easily. Now that the sky is finished, we can move on to adjusting the 3D model to make it blend better. Start by, start by adding shading to the buildings in the 3D model. You can do this with a bluish gray color on a multiply layer. There's no need to make it detailed or overly realistic just enough to give the 3D model a more 2D look. Since this is a webtoon, you'll be doing this repeatedly for all the panels with backgrounds. Once the shading is done, we'll adjust the atmosphere. Create a new layer above the shading layer and select the gradient you used for the sky. Apply that gradient to the 3D model and change the layer mode to overlay. Then adjust the opacity until it feels right. Next, Add more detail by creating a white gradient for additional lighting. Then, enhance it further by adding the sun's light source using the flare material you downloaded earlier. Drag the flare material onto your canvas, position it as you like, and change the layer mode to add glow. After that, convert the flare layer to a raster layer and erase the edges to make the flare look neater. Next, I'll just add a few more details to the lighting by adding rainbow particles and other elements. And here's the result for the morning and noon ambience. Next, we'll move on to changing the atmosphere to the afternoon. Starting with the same steps, first create the sky using a gradient. Here, I'm using rainy golden hour as my sky color for the afternoon. Drag it across the canvas until the sky gradient looks right. To avoid redrawing the clouds, I simply copy-paste the clouds I made earlier for the morning ambience, but I changed their color to a more golden tone. Once the clouds are adjusted, we'll continue by adding a sky overlay to the 3D model, just like we did for the morning ambience. I also added a white screen layer and yellow add glow to create the lighting for this afternoon ambience. Finally, add a flare, positioned lower, to indicate the sun is setting. After that, I just tidy up all the aspects I mentioned earlier to make the overall appearance more appealing. And here's the result for the depiction of the afternoon ambience. After this, 
we can move on to the next segment, creating the ambiance at night. I just repeat the same steps from before, but using different colors. For this night ambience, I use the night sky gradient to create the sky. I also make the 3D model darker by adding a multiply and overlay layer using the previous sky gradient. Adjust the opacity until it blends well with the sky. Since it's nighttime, I want to enhance the lighting from the lamps. Use yellow and an add glow layer to create the lamp's lighting. Use the airbrush tool and blending to create light drops from the lamps. Don't forget to make the center of the lamp light brighter. Once the lamp lighting is done, we'll move on to adding a white screen layer to the bottom and top of the 3D model. After that, we'll go back to the sky to draw the clouds. I use dark blue to paint the clouds using the previous cloud brush tool. Next, I add the moon in the sky and give it a slight glow. I also add backlight to the clouds from the moonlight using yellow. You can add small white particle sprays in the sky for the appearance of stars in your night sky. Afterward, I make further adjustments to blend the sky and the 3D model building together by fine-tuning the shadows and lighting. And here's the result for the night ambience. Next, we'll add additional ambience, which could likely happen in your webtoon scenario. We'll transform the three images we created earlier into a rainy atmosphere like this. There's not much you need to do to create this rainy atmosphere. You just need to add extra shading, make everything darker, and add the raindrops. For the daytime ambience, I use the Mustard Sunset gradient as the shading. I add this gradient layer on top with a multiply mode and lower opacity. Once the darker atmosphere is created, we'll add the rain lines using the speed line tool available from Clip Studio Assets. With just one stroke, the raindrops are created. In the final step, add rain effect, smoke at the bottom in white, and it's done. The same goes for the afternoon ambience. You just add extra shading. Here, I use the Mars gradient as additional shading for the afternoon. Since the rain droplets were already created earlier, I don't need to repeat that step. The same goes for the night ambience. Adjust the lighting to make it darker. And in the end, it looks like this. Here's the result for depicting both sunny and rainy atmospheres. There are actually many other atmospheres you can create, but I feel this is enough for what I want to convey in this video. I often see some manhua, even released by studios, that don't do anything with their 3D backgrounds. I hope you don't do the same and put in a bit more effort into your webtoon backgrounds. That's it for today's video. I hope it's helpful.